Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, last episode we started the S10 up. And uh, we think the distributor's bad. We ordered a new one, but I ain't got it yet. So in this episode, we're gonna try to get the uh, shifter installed. I guess first uh, a little update on Krusty here uh, we're still waiting on parts I, I got the uh, yoke that goes into the transmission and I'm still waiting on the one that goes on the rear end but this thing been sitting for a little while so I'm gonna start it up and let it warm up keep the fluids moving in the engine All right, guys, so as soon as we get the parts for Krusty there, we'll uh, get that dry shaft measured and uh, get that ordered. And then hopefully we can take it back to the dyno. But today we are going to try to get this shifter into the S10. So we're going to have to dig it out here. And uh, I guess we'll get it out the box and then uh, see about where we want to mount it, just like uh, we done with Krusty. All right, so I guess the first thing is clean this mess out of here. Get all this junk up and then we'll see where this... Uh... Might be a rat under the seat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just mainly parts and stuff. But we'll get the shifter and locate it in there and see where, about where he wants it, I guess. And then we can uh, see if we need to build a mount for this thing. Oh, can't have that. Yeah, yeah. you gotta have to move all that. Hey, I don't know. See, that's gonna make you lean over it. Yeah, it's making me lean the wood. Let's put this big pipe in there. <laughs> it do hold it. What about this one? That's heavy too. <laughs> Piece of cam. What's that to? That's the original one out of five three. Old stock cam. You wanna chop it and really make one out of that? I will. That's that's gonna, yeah, it's gonna be heavier than the pipe. That's cool though. 
See, that was a better idea. Make it from bearing to bearing. Cut this one off. Then melt the plate on top of that one. And then I'll plate it on the bottom. That's probably perfect. Perfect height. That one cam. The one low. Man. <laughs> All right. We'll put the LS cam in here and make it fast. <laughs> Let's see, we can use these. As, well, we can use this one. That's one plate, but I don't think we're going to have another one. Maybe that thing. Let me get the shifter. This has just got to be big enough for these bolts. Uh, it's going to be short. So what if we use, use that this as a, for that? Yeah, that's what I was just thinking. Yeah, and then use this. Hey, that's right. Think it's gonna work? We get our plate mounted down and then uh, run the cable. All right, guys, we got the uh, plate covering the hole. We're getting ready to run this cable, so we just gotta figure out where we want to drill this hole at, and then we'll get it on there. thing I guess it goes on after you put your sticker on and you know I just thought of something when I, when I put my stickers on <laughs> my dumb ass put them on this side <laughs> you know, you gotta look around the shift to you know what <laughs> I'm so dumb sometimes sometimes I'm just dumb <laughs> Just like the instructions say. All right, guys, there's the bracket. Uh, it comes with uh, multiple different brackets for different transmissions. And obviously we used the one for the GM and that one too it's pretty much like the one for the tci it's it looks identical to the one we put on the c10 and uh we done the same thing we put the transmission in park and the shifter in park and made sure this thing fit in there loosely and then went through all the gears 
and made sure that thing wasn't getting in a bind. And then we tightened everything down. All right, guys, we got the shifter in. And, uh, yeah, I guess next time if we get the uh, distributor, then we'll try to put that in and see if that helps with it running. But uh, I guess that's it for this one. Till next time. See ya.